Match end. Leg end. Switch scenes. Oh, I should probably turn off the outro music. <laughs> uh, oh boy. All right. Hmm. So, folks. Oh yeah, I meant to look something up. Because that was at the end of my rope. On one one puzzle, one specific puzzle. So yeah, I had a thing, a puzzle called the Four Plagues. Okay. All right, that's what, exactly what I thought. I don't know, for whatever reason, it wasn't working. Exactly what I thought it was supposed to be. It just did not work for whatever reason. Let's redo this then. Let's go back to the... To the dungeons. Where are we, where are we at? Because I... I had it right in multiple configurations, but not in the right configuration, I think. And I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. But I think I just did not have the exact configuration. I had the right pieces in the right places, but not all at the same time. If that makes any sense. Alright, where... Uh, is there anything else that I missed here? Not there. I have to do this puzzle or else I'll just... Alright. Battle. Right, we're gonna place the weapon here. Famine. I'm gonna place a piece of meat here, or food. Old. We're gonna place the, uh, uh, frostbite necklace here. Uh, disease. We're gonna, we're gonna make a potion. Put that here. Alright. See? It's not that difficult. Spider Silk Cloak. Ocean of Willpower. Any buttons on the wall? Nope. Okay. You sure? This is the last check, cuz... We're leaving. You know what? You can keep this. You can keep this. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'll melt it down into something. Alright. Let's get out of here. Finally. At last. Oh, wait. Wrong way. <laughs> Forgot my keys. Where to? Okay, these stairs. All right. We're done with that. Yeah, I... I had the right idea. 
And I had the right pieces in the right places, but not all at the same time. Okay. Now I need to find this other, um, bloop, bleep. Bloop, lip. The trickster comes and goes. I had more. Okay, two lanterns in Eastern Tangle Root Forest. Between two lanterns. It's like right here. Then. Pretty much the only idea I had. Hello, friend. Is this tome of leadership? Okay, that's it. That's all. That's all. A tome of leadership, party leader trait. Okay. All right. Big fatty plus. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Big Fatty Plus rated the stream with two viewers. JK, how you doing? Um, how was your stream? I saw you were playing, um... Oh, gosh, what was that? You were doing, um... You were doing, uh, some... Oh, yeah, Reventure. I've got that. How was that? How, how are you enjoying that? 40 endings left out of how many? Oh, oh, JK. Okay. Okay. Um, thanks. You, thanks for stopping in. You finished it? You did all 40 endings? Oh, wow. Wow. 100 endings. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Wow. Um, well, congratulations. GG on that. That's, um,. I'll have to look at that again. Because I know it's one that I have. This is a... a <laughs> As a meta thing, I'm... Uh, awesome. Awesome. Oh, you help. You speed run it. Oh, nice. Very cool. Alright, let's see here. We're gonna put this on you other cap we're gonna put wait where is that at hmm okay yeah I think you need to walk through to help get through it so I think I have it but I'm not sure let me double check oh oh Oh, I do have it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I must have gotten... A, a, I have multiple endings, I see. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look at this at some point. Uh, I'm definitely gonna look at this. Your world record for finish all. Uh, is three, three hours, eight minutes, 20 seconds. Nice. Very cool. All right. Yeah, I'm, uh... Yeah, nice. Nice. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to checking it out. I am playing, uh, I'm doing my first run through Legend of Grimrock 2. Follow up to my, uh... 
my run of, of Grimrock 1 last year. Uh, although this time, I have an all-rat party. Because uh, rat people weren't in the first game, and now they are. And uh, it's going all right so far. We, uh, we beat up a leprechaun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. Good to hear that you uh, were successful in it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's econ that's that's an economic game there. Oh my! I hear something. Oh, mm -hmm. I sure want to fall asleep here. Let's see here. I hear machinery real close by. All right. Well, thank you, thank you for the, thank you for stopping in, uh, JK. All right, what do we got? Apple chest plate and a torch. I can live with that. What is that machinery? like on the verge of leveling I think we just solved a massive dungeon puzzle I fought a leprechaun uh, that I want to fight again oh good I don't like that sound wonderful Um, yeah, uh, uh, hello? I heard a, I saw some flapping in the air. Um, and now I don't. Huh, that's a neat little building. Wonder how much they're asking for that one. Wonder if it's on the market even. I know some flapping behind me too. I see some more flapping. What is going on here? Oh, this is Yeah, this is vast. It's kind of not really much of a wonder that they that they sort of uh were like, yeah. And with a keen eye and sharp aim, they entered. Keen eye and sharp aim. <gasps> a keen eye and sharp aim, they entered. Okay, I see some, maybe some wyverns over there. Oh, that's not, that's not a good idea. That's, this is not a good idea. Glug, glug. No. 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 <laughs> Alright, I've got to do this puzzle again. Eh, it's no big deal. I just have to rem remember to save as soon as I get into that next zone. Because that's a hazard. 
Oh, sorry about the flash in there. <laughs> yeah, I always forget that if I hold the tab, it'll start going out of control on the map screen. All right. Yeah, I have to go back to this cave because, or this dungeon because... There was a puzzle that I could not solve, even though I had the solution mostly right, in multiple combinations. All right, battle. Axe. Um, hung uh, hunger. Yeah, famine. Food. Um. Coal, a cold frostbite necklace. Uh, disease. We're gonna uh, have to do this then. Make a potion. Open the gate. All right. Grab these things. and string. Okay, we're gonna do this. Put the spider silk cloak on you. You don't need to be strong, you just need to have good magics. Swap torches. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Go this way. Yeah, cool. That's a crystal, all right. Now I need to go to right around here, between two torches, and dig. Wait, what's this way again? Oh, that's to the, um, that's to the back of the, back of the temple, I think. Oh no, that's that lever. Okay, so in game we also just picked up a fire orb. Um... The essence of fire. Which, I don't know. Is this going to... Okay, so that's not a torch. I would really love it if that was a torch. Did we pick up all our stuff again? We did not. It's no big deal, but... Kind of is a big deal. Especially that necklace. We just completely forgot to get our stuff back. Oh well. That's one more trip. I need potions. I do need potions. Oh, you're nearly overburdened. I'll give this to you then. And I'll, um, also give this to you. And this to you. Alright. Welcome back. Um, hmm. Trying to sort out how much of this junk I need. All right. We're fine for now, though. I went the wrong way. 
Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> Well, in the early stages of this, it's not a bad idea to just to just carry whatever you can. Although in the later stages, you just tend to like wonder what the point is because you have so much junk and you can't get to the real stuff that you need. All right. So in fact, we're going to lose. We're going to use this box, this treasure chest, as a storage system. I hear you crawling over there. All right. Rocks we need for uh, holding down plates. That sling is lightweight, though. Um, right, right, right. I mean, I'm pretty much, and, and my rogue is pretty much bound to, bound to use, um, bound to use, uh, um, throwing, throwing weapons until... Yeah, bound to use throwing weapons until uh, I get my accuracy up one more point, which is probably going to be next level for for my rogue. I'm probably going to bump that accuracy up one. All right, now this. Okay, now I can cast from the wand, so that's no big deal. This lightning rod is not it's not very good it's not very useful rather um all right we'll power up by one uh, we're gonna throw these helmets in here we're gonna throw these skull cleaves in here we're gonna throw these notes in here um I open this bag. Put some food in here. Make this our sack of food. Um, own club goes in here. Um, all right. Now we're gonna keep the. We gotta keep the shovel. We have to keep that shovel. Or the summoning. I don't know if we're gonna use that again, but that you know what? That's okay. Let's see here. Baton. I don't know if we need this baton. I don't think we need this baton. Reed helmet. Reed helmet's new. Oh, I'm proficient with light armor now, so... Yeah, what am I doing trying to wear heavy armor anyway? Have these helmets. I'll I'll come back for these later. When I can just steamroll everything. And this is that's like overkill, quite honestly. Order staff? Hmm. Might be something for you. You know what? Honestly, hold on. Hold on. Why am I using the... 
Why am I using the rapier when I could be using the machete for much more damage? That's foolishness. Okay. All right. And I'm holding all these thrown weapons and my alchemy kit for this, uh, for, for Glug. And missile weapons. And missile weapons. Okay, um... Of course we keep this. Yeah. Ratty is our food ombudsman. Oh, this is all my burnt out torches. Okay, we'll leave the burnt out torches here then too. Right now, more food. More food. <laughs> Just big, big bags of food. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> big bags of food. All right. We'll empty them later. We don't need to worry about anything else. Cudgel. I don't think we need this cudgel either. I mean, uh, Raddy's going to be the axe man. Right, he's gonna rage that he's the axe man. Like you know, axe men do. Um gosh. Shoot. Shoot. So we could probably leave this cudgel here. Because the uh, Glug's going to be a throwing weapons person until he can do dual, double daggers. And Plung is my wizard. And also torch person. <sighs> um... You know what? You're going to also be the secondary food person. Hmm. Should I instead do... Oh, God. Hate you, Trickster. Hate your guts, Trickster. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kinda move things around a bit a little bit, just a little bit, and a little bit more. A little bit here. A little bit there. And food in the box. Food in the box. More food in the box. More food in the box. This food goes in the box. Right. I wish I had brought more provisions. All right, now we can put scrolls in here. Horrible trick. I'm going to put this trickster note in here, too. I hate you, trickster. I'm going to get you, trickster. That's the last thing I do. All right. You know what, let's, um, 
Let's take another gamble on guns. Guns. Guns, baby. Okay. Save the game. I feel like there's got to be more there's got to be a few more secret stashes around here you know I don't think there is. I think that all the secret stashes that we find will be warned about. At least you tried. Hey, uh, Sikugara. How's it going? Huh. Oh, how have you been? Yeah, it's very, it's very modern day Dungeon Master, modern day Eye of the Beholder. It's good. Um, and it's, you know, less kind of inscrutable than either of those, but it's still got its own degree of, I guess, figuring it out. And also, hello, dragon. Mm. Hello, dragon. Yes, I know. <laughs> I was wondering where that was coming from the first time I heard it. And then I just saw some wings flapping and, I, and then I, and this is the first time I saw a guy on top of the dragon there. I'm just like, okay. So it's this kind of game. Okay, ooh, there's a ladder. So maybe going in the water isn't so, isn't as perilous of a decision as, as I previously thought. I just have to make sure not to, uh, make sure not to stay in the water too long. Or figure out breathing apparatus, magical or otherwise. Is there something I need to shoot? The canine you know, and sharp at aim they entered. The old. Uh. Redneck Jay Boy raided the stream with three viewers. Hello, Jay. You're heading to bed already? Alright. Thank you for the raid. We uh get some rest. What were you up to anyway? We're doing some. Oh, tell. Oh, oh, tabletop simulator. All right, cool, cool. All right, hope you hope you did well on that. Sleet Island to the north, to the north. That's to the east. Twig Forest to the west. So to the north is Sleet Island. To the south is Killbreach Bog. Let's let's attract some attention. Why don't we? That didn't work. 
Hello. Why is my gun jamming? Oh, you're that kind of... Oh, I remember you now. I remember you now. Yes. Busted. It bridges out. Well, so you've got these, um, dragon winged buzzards here. Oh, lizard. Oh, I know what that metal noise is. It's armored skeleton guards. <laughs> Does nothing. Oh, we tried. Come on, what do you miss? Guns are an inaccurate science in uh, Grim Rock Land. Guns might not be practical at all in Grimrock land. Oh, that's what that noise is. Got it. One of these watch the patterns and okay, I'm suddenly getting surrounded out of nowhere. Anyway, let's get uh, over here and just sort of back away, back away. I see a blue key. I see a blue crystal. Hello, vulture. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it doesn't doesn't it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt at least. Experience. Experience. All right. Um, we should probably get somewhere sort of next to a candle. Or sconce. There we go. Ah. Ah, foggy morning. Okay. Uh, hmm. Ah. Just find a ladder. Ho ho ho. All right. Ah. Uh.
take care of our rations of the day. Oh. I'm not really too worried about this, although Shrine O Pain. My mistake, yes. At least I saved recently. At least I saved recently. I knew what I was getting into. Just find a ladder. Alright. It's morning. In the dungeons. All right, let's try this again. Odd. Ah. Well, that didn't work. What was I even looking for there? Oh. Death. I was looking for death. <laughs> ah, it's not very accurate, uh, rise of death either. Oh, just find a ladder. <laughs> All right. Already. What have you got to say for yourselves? Oh, I'm so sorry. I <laughs> don't pull my little trap. I only broke a few bones of the dish. Still to proceed on your heroic journey. Sure. Never better. Never better. Never better. Just forget it. Oh, good. What? Island map. <laughs> well, you know, letter. If we can find a crystal, you know, this will all be fine, right? This will be just fine if we can find a crystal nearby. But I don't think we can. So I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna play to find out. A gun? A magical rifle? Mind and matter. Oh, good. Never mind. Forget it. Just forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. 
We'll sort something else out. We'll, we'll find alternate routes. Etc. Etc. Sure we will. Right? Alright. We're gonna... Yeah. A map that I can mark all over, too. That's really a cool thing. Is, I mean, while I could, well, I could do this through like uh, dungeon scroll or or something, I, it would just take forever. It would take ages to get finished with this if I was doing. Hmm. Now it would take ages if I was doing a dungeon scroll run. And ages times ages if I was doing uh, pencil of vapor. Because I am... When, I, when I'm forced to actually draw my own maps, I am just an all day screw up. My own mat's not, you know. I screw up when I can when I can do them digitally, but it's like ten times worse when I, when I have to do them by hand, and I'm just like, nope, can't deal with that. I respect the people that can still do that 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 still manage to do that and and keep it together. All right. There is something. Scroll of shield. Scroll of force field creates a magical barrier. Huh. Oh, good. Yeah, y'all can y'all can have it. Not while not while I'm in the water. And not while I can't breathe. Yet. Let's try going this way then. Let's see if we can't hunt down a ladder somewhere. Oh, there we go. Found it. Read gauntlets. Hello, Jim. So, let's try. Yeah, 
There we go. Oh, hello. Blasted. Uh, well, gosh. I really would just want to farm whatever I possibly can until I can get my next level because it's super close. Look at how close that is. See how close that is? That's real close. Just so I can get concentration too. As force field walking at spikes. Hopefully that will help. That will work out. Um, bloody cactus. Hello. Bloody Cactus raided the stream with one viewers. Bloody Cactus, how are you doing? How was your stream? You were doing some Desperados 3. Nice, nice. Hope your stream went well. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's like that. I was afraid that th this was going to be a night of bad internet for me too. Um. Well, up until this point, it was going pretty smoothly. Now I'm trying to figure out how to most easily farm experience. When nothing else is around. Well. To farm from because. Uh, I need to figure some good way of crossing this trap. This thing. I hate it. Hold on, I got an idea. Um, <laughs> all right, fine. That was either the luckiest or the uh, or the smartest thing I did, and I can't tell which. All right, we gotta feed people. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. All right. All right. Now, we got to be ready because there's going to be a... A dude here. Uh, uh, a... a
There's gonna be a um I thought I beat you up. Are you not are you not are you not finished yet? Gun jam. Yes, I get it. I get it. You, you're nasty. Whatever. Anyway. Right, I need I need some alchemical solutions here, Mr. Glug. Hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Um, well, this particular time it is. You can make your own characters of any kind of any kind, really. Like humans, elves, dwarfs, um, I think what else is in there? Uh Minotaurs, lizard men, insect men, and rat men now. Um I think there's one other there's a couple other things as well. I'll be right back. I gotta check on something real quick. Sorry for the hold up. sorry for the hold up.
All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, I need... I need, like, um... Stuff for energy. Oh, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I just... You know what? Never mind. We'll do this. Something in athletics or carry weight. Because, uh, Riding needs to carry all the foods. Um, night. Okay, what do we have? Um, Better light weapon wa mastery here. Um. All right, yeah. We got it. We got it. Glug needs reach. Glug needs reach badly. All right, and then you need level two concentration. thing is Oh no, not that. All right, buddy cactus. Thanks for being here. Thanks for you. Thank you for the raid as well. We're gonna give. I'm gonna give you shurikens in one hand. Yeah. I'm gonna give Glug shurikens in one hand. Uh, a shuriken for throwing in one hand, and they're gonna. They'll be able to use their knife in the other. No, no. Glug is left handed. Cannon. Glug is left handed. Okay. So we never have to deal with this pit again. Or we never had to deal with the spikes anymore. Okay. There's another thing over here. There's another treasure chest over there. Never mind. Um. No, no, no. Um. I think this is a bad idea. Bad idea. 
Wow. Um, oh, Citadel Vras, um, gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that now, um, because I, I was thinking about doing it, and I was planning on doing it, but it looks like the Screamer and, um, um, looks like the Screamer and Demon Lord are going to take up more time than I thought. I'm going to try to fit it in. I'm doing my best to fit it in, it might be, it might be a September game. That might be my Friday September game. I don't know though. I don't know. At this point, it's just it's very up in the air as to whether I'll get to it this this time around. Um, as I was hoping I would be able to get to it, but sorry, I just now noticed that second part. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to play it, but it's all, it's, it's all just like, uh, too much game, not enough time. Oh, there's a, there's a. It's held, it's held steady for three minutes, so I think, I think, no, yellow, no, no, you're, you're messing with me now, you're messing with me now, OBS. Jeez. Dear visitor, please find the map of the, the attached map of the island useful. I'd like to point out a few key locations. Get you accustomed to your new home, although I'm afraid your stay on the island will be brief. My pets are awfully hungry as always. If you glance north, you should see the Great Pyramid of Umas. Yes, I know. It sets the tone. Above the treetops and in the west, you can find the ruins of Desarun, a huge dungeon I've repurposed just for you. Beyond Desarun, there are even older places that but you don't need to concern yourself with them, because the challenges ahead will be way over your head. Finally, in the east, you can find the burial grounds where some very interesting characters are buried. It's up to you to decide which one of these locations will be your grave. Signed, the Island Master. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed that read. <laughs> I hope somebody out there enjoyed that read. All right. I think we finally have stability. We've we've hit five minutes, so you know, you know. I'm the guardian of the bridge. Wake me up. Well, nothing a good jolt won't do. No. Perhaps. All right. Ah. Oh, 
hopefully. Oh. Oh, okay, so I did need to throw magic at it. Root. All right. Glug needs to use the mortar in hand. Okay, so there's a portal over there. Hmm. Oh, good. Yeah, uh, this is no good. Meditation Spire. That's a ladder. What is that? Oh, good. Good. The ice spirit. Exactly what I wanted to see. The thing that makes me think it's a blue crystal, but it's not. It's a malevolent spirit. That wants to kill me. Dead. Hello, friend. Can I save it, you? <laughs> I guess not. Oh. I should probably climb up. This is obviously timed. Bronze Brace. Yes. Ocean of Resurrection. I'm guessing I shouldn't stand on those. I'm guessing I shouldn't stand on these. You know... gonna come down and bite me. I mean, you know, you'd think that these creatures would understand that there's no no such thing as fall damage. So they're gonna want to wanna come down and get at me. But I don't know if they understand that. I don't know if they get the concept of no fall damage. I live in a world where everything where there's fall damage everywhere. And you know Anything can kill them. Skyway. How much does the Skyway? 
Sausage. Sausage boy. waiting for you. Yeah, that works. That really works. <laughs> that really works. Good, good, good job. As the kids say, it's super effective. something That was the, this was the, uh, I don't know what that was. I forget. Something wicked. Oh, there's the ice, the ice guy. Yeah? What's up? Want to fight? Obviously, that was a bad mistake. It was a big mistake. Anyway. Hold on. Got an idea. Got an idea. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Hang out. Mm. Carry this torch with me. You know what's? You know what's? That sound is. That sound is the wrangling of my coins. I guess. Goes to show. Oh, 
Oh. Yes. Come on. Oh, you coward. Anyway. Showed you. Let's call a fireball. Round key. Any switches on the wall? Any buttons? Let's rest. Rest up and hope that it... Jeez. Hope that that guy doesn't respawn. At least not immediately. I think... I think that's it for the ideas in this chamber. Other than... Other than... This room here and the skyway. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. So we're not wavering yet. something curious going on up here. I should probably drop the drops of stuff down here too. Okay. We'll just drop an arrow then. So who needs it? There we go. Hey man. So something's off here. What closed the gate? What closed the gate?
Okay, so... First of all, first of all, There's this experience of... Oh, look at that. Fire Magic 3, Air Magic 1. Okay, well that's gonna be a while. Yes? Fire's pretty good against, uh, zombies, in case you didn't know. If you ever run into zombies, you should probably learn a fire spell or something, I don't know. Light Weapons 3. Mm. It's gonna be good when I learn Light Weapons 3. Hmm. Fantasy said, that's right, that's right. Good fan, a good axe definitely works. And I got a, uh, uh, pretty good one with the skull cleave. Sure, there's gonna be better ones, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, skull cleave works. Skull cleave gets it done. Why does my. So this is the way back up on the other side. Which doesn't really help me because... I mean, there's nothing in there anymore. this no where is it yeah I gotta figure out this room no wait this room this is the room I have to figure out I think maybe no no Out this way. Um, this way. Okay. So, my first job is to throw 
a rock. Across. Then I climb. And I throw a rock. Across. This is not going to work out, is it? No, you can't throw it through the fence. So why even bother? Or wait, maybe I do it this way. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Well, now what? Now what, genius? Oh, pfft. never mind. I've got a key. <laughs> okay, well, let me, uh. Oh, my. Let me grab this. I'll drop down there and get everything after I do what I gotta do here, I hope. I hope this is a one way a one way go. Cause there's a lot of stuff I need to get to. Uh Is that another I can't tell if that's another crystal or another or another uh elemental. Ice elemental. Those aren't on a stick. Yummy, my favorite. It's not moving. It's not pulsating like a like a like a sentient being. It's just oh no. Oh yes it is. It's fine. It's good. It's we're we're totally we're gonna be just fine. And it tries to like turns to the form of a person and uh, a floating person and then it tries to kill me with ice. It's just what I need, oh boy. Why is this space so familiar? Roll of light. Light, 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 light. Yes. We need you. All right, we know shock. We know shield as well. You know force field, but God, I don't really know what do we. You know, uh, how can you even know force field? How can you even really know force field? Now that we got an auto save, we're gonna just drop down the hole and break our ankles. Oh no!
Is there seriously not a button in here? There's gotta be a button in here. Maybe, maybe it's a new button placement now. Hold on. It was right here. Right, uh, right here or right here. Usually. Maybe there's a new one. Maybe there's a new style of button on the wall now. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. For the old button. Hello. Blood drop cap. There's some stairs. We're gonna ignore those stairs for now. For right now. Because who knows what kind of trouble we can get into down here. Surely. What are you? Are you a slime? Are you a slime monster? You wanna be my friend, slime monster? Oh, you're a spider. Oh, no, I don't make friends with spiders. Showing bad experiences. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Play mistake. Play mistake. Probably a mistake. Stay calm. Stay calm. I don't see him anywhere now. Means he could be anywhere. find a, uh, a wall, uh, thing. Uh, whatever, whatever. I can't even think of the term right now. I'm, I'm too freaked out by spiders. Is there something over here? Or not over here? Well, guess what? I got something new. Blue light. All oh, right, that's right. You, you can kind of combine. the blue light and the torch light for something a little more a little more uh
a little more. What 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 the hell did I just open up here? Scroll. Just open up a scroll. All of the light, 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 light. Right to what? All the light to what? Alright, this is where I dropped in. hear that's I don't hear it crawling around but that means nothing at the moment it means absolutely nothing I'll leave this quarter staff here I have to keep, uh, I always have to keep the, uh, the fire, uh, ready whenever spiders are about. Any kind of creepy crawlies. Balmer's robe is valuable, but... I think there was a... That's downstairs. Resurrection. Uh, that was foolishness. Also, uh, I clicked on the X.
These two doors are sealed. No switches on the wall. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I saw... Fire coming this way. Maybe I just have to go. <laughs> There's a spider on the platform. I think what I'm gonna have to do is, yeah, I've got to basically pull that spider towards the, towards this light. Hey, come on. You know you want to come up here. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Where did you go? I have several questions. Where did you go? Hearing some, hearing some stuff, not liking what I'm hearing. Hmm. Thinking that they're gonna end up back behind that gate again. Drop him in the right place. I think the right place is... Buddy. the right places. Gosh, I don't know. I'm hearing a thing. Maybe... Oh gosh, I think I know now. I think I know what the deal is now. I don't I know exactly what it is. It needs to be over the middle hole there.
I think. Basically to where that spider is on the plate. In the middle of that. In the middle of this cross here. Okay. You were in the wrong place. Rindo. Ah. I think I got it. I think I got it. You're not there. You're not there. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I need... I, I... Raddy is starving. Listen. Everybody's good now. Oh, I forgot to step on the teleporter to bring it back up to... back up to the top. Oop. Plung still needs pants. Probably in the back again. No? Did we make it? We gotta put on the bracelet as well. Gosh. This is going to be the one. Uh, 
I don't know how. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Other than. Ash. Ash. You're in the middle still. The spider and light puzzle. The spider and light puzzle. Sheesh. Sheesh. Hearing some, some kind of rumbling. I'm out of ideas. I am completely out of ideas. Like, it's not even like the, um... I mean, like the four famine, uh, the four, um, uh, four plagues puzzle where, like, I figured out all of it, but not, but I for just didn't have the forethought to implement them all at once. I just didn't have the, you know, whatever to fulfill them all, to, to like, do every condition at once until after I, you know, looked into it. Here, it's just... I'm just drawing a complete blank. Like, there's a button on the wall. There's a button on the floor. I'll send the spider back upstairs. And the teleport hole. In the, in the ter teleport line. Right? And, um... As far as I can tell... I have to drop the spider... Into that middle... Pit... With the button... Where it lights all these things up. Or does it? I mean, it kind of does. Kinda. All the light. All the light. It's the only thing I have. It's gone too far. Back at the beginning. It's it's in the back. In the back. I can turn around and see it in the back.
in the back again. I got impatient and uh, yep, yep, there it is. R2, hey. Yeah. I am, this puzzle is so weird. How's Final Fantasy VIII treating you? Oh my, nice, nice, very good to hear, very good to hear, Chain of the Cartoon, folks, also a an aficionado of RPGs, all sorts of games, but also mostly RPGs, yeah, this is, I'm liking the, the, the world spaces, and yeah, 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 the first one, the first one was like probably my favorite dungeon crawler of last of last summer that I played. This one is better, but, um, like in a lot of ways, but there's just already, I'm, a, I'm already like running into logic brick walls with some of these puzzles. <laughs> like the, the four fit, the, uh, the four plagues I figured out, I figured out, but I didn't, I didn't bother to implement them all at the same time. And I got kind of lost in that. Until I went went and double checked, and I was like, "Yeah, I did all this. What are you even talking about, game?" I was like, "Wait, I didn't do all of it all of it, all of it at once." And this is just like, I don't know what the deal is with this one. Uh, where are you at? Okay, you're in the right spot. Okay, how do I? All right, light, light. But how? Adventure Josh, uh, yeah, how are you doing? It's been going all right up until this point where I got, well, no, I take that back. I kind of got stuck in that, at that, uh, I kind of got stuck at that, uh, at the, at the spikes, at the spike trap, uh, right before the, uh, right when I started, you know, right after you saw the dragon. Uh, I got a little stuck there, but then I kind of got lucky when I, Put the shield up and uh I put the magic shield up and then uh and then we uh made it. Okay, so I don't wanna I mean I can't throw through the cage. Can't throw the th through the cage. Yeah. But I love the I love the more like open ended design of this, uh, especially like getting the things in more than one way and having more than you know having a much less linear path than than Grimrock one. Uh, I like that a whole lot. But yeah, I do. But there's this like oh my gosh, like I don't even know where to even begin. I see like. I got the scroll that said follow the light, and I see one, two, four. But then what? Because we got the, the, I mean, I figured it was like one. No? Or maybe it's. Yeah, 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 exactly. I I can see that too. I can definitely see that too. And I liked some of those puzzles too in Grimrock One, especially like the like the multi-stage fourth floor one where it's like you went to all those kind of you went to the uh, uh, more of the trials and stuff like that. That was a really cool part of that. But yeah, here it's just like this button on the wall too. Like, what does it do? Yeah, well, the problem is I can't, I can't necessarily uh, leave this part until I figure it out. This is kind of like you know where I'm at. <laughs> so I can't like 
leave and come back to anything while I'm here. That's the rub with this one. Is just figure it out or don't. And yeah. All right. Okay, so Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. So we've got... Now we can't really get out of these doors either. Is there a button I'm missing? Like I'm not finding any other buttons anywhere and I've been just looking. Like, I'm just like wondering if there's like a new kind of button that's, that's showing up that's n that I can't see or what? Because I know they changed up the button style like every every few every couple of floors. To kind of keep you on your toes, and they work with a couple of different buttons on in this style of dungeon. Yeah, this is my first go at it too. And nothing on the floor. There was something on the floor. I would have stepped on it though, right? There's not a button I can push on the floor at all. Nothing up there. Anything over here? Nothing over there. Gosh! Yeah, this one's a... I feel like this is going to be something that's like, that I'm just obviously missing and is going to just make me feel silly for missing it. I've looked at like every single wall in this in this this chamber. Oh. Yeah. But every single wall in this chamber and in this chamber downstairs. At least to every single wall that I can get to. And I found Button that does nothing. Possibly.
And this is the plate that the spider lands on on the lower floor to make certain sections line up. And this um And this just opens this wall right here. That sealed me in when I fell through this hole. Because I basically saved at the I auto saved at the crystal. And then I was just like, yep, we're dropping in. Because I knew that there was a pu there was probably a puzzle. And there is, and it's Ugh. It's it's a lot. And I can always reload. I can always reload. But all this is just gonna this is just gonna eat away at me until I figure it out. I mean maybe I have to open up the door over here first? I don't know. I really don't know. Um. Hold on a minute. All right. Yeah. I mean, I, I look. I back. I, I pretty much say. You know, suggestions are on for a lot of stuff. Uh, just don't, you know, outwardly spoil something. Like, you know, I had somebody basically telling me, telling me plot things about, uh, about, uh, Soleil, about, um, uh, Crusader Cindy, like, you know, a while before I was going to even get to it. And I just, I, yeah, I, not something boneheaded like that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I know. Okay, well. This is probably what I was missing the, the entire time. Yeah, I guess. It's just... It was basically giving me... Giving me plot spoilers for... I liked Cinti a lot, honestly. It was probably... As far as, like... You know... Games that were trying to kind of capture the... You know... The whole thing about... You know, trying to capture a feeling on... Uh, a feeling of like you know Zelda style games. I I think it's probably the best on the on the Genesis on the Mega Drive. Um, especially especially with uh, I mean I, I think I think the the European translation kind of does help quite a bit because um, because it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't you know. There's a, there's there's certain things that uh, that uh, you know we're not as silly, I guess. I mean, there's definitely some silly stuff in 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 Rida City and in Soleil, but uh, yeah, yeah. Crusader of Senti just kind of I don't know, I don't know. They uh, tried tried to make it two uh, e for everyone. <laughs> But I liked it. I liked it. It was, um, I liked it more as far as like games that that have a feel of a Zelda type game, but aren't explicitly Zelda uh, Zelda clones. I think I liked. I think I liked uh, Soleil more than um, more than Beyond Oasis. <laughs> All right, broke a foot. Um, sleep it off. Sleep it off. Oh, 
You're not going to sleep it off, huh? All right, well. I'll walk you back up to the crystal. Why might I give that to you? I forget, is there... I think that was the problem. I had to open up the, uh... I had to open up the, uh... I just, I just got so tired. I, I don't know, it was just... It was just so tiring... to interact with. I mean, I, I get that, you know... It's a very pretty game, but it's also just... I don't know. It's just I don't know, not my favorite. All right, let's see what this button does. Oh, I know what this does. It opens up this room where I pick up a scroll that says "Follow the Light." Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Okay, that makes all the, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. It's very, it's very easy to get lost in, in that. It doesn't really give you a good sense of direction. I like Sin, like Sinti definitely points you in the right direction most of the time. Most of the time it does. And, um,. All right, all right. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. There's a lot of there's a lot of extra things to sort of mess with and um yeah. I like I like to do. And it felt like it kind of got past the you know, got past the stigma of just being a Zelda knockoff. Um, just on the strength of just how much stuff, you know, how much stuff you could just do in it. And I really liked that. Yeah, it's a good game. It's a good game. Oh, my. Kind of has a really kind of a bittersweet ending too, which was you know, which is another thing that sort of sets it apart. It's like not not necessarily everything is happy about you know the situation that uh, you know that 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 yeah, Soleil is the is the um, is the European name, and that's the I recommended recommended by somebody that's a big that was a big. Senti fan, that's uh that's the version that I played. And I I was grateful to actually play that one. Instead of uh so the Atlas on my first go. I, know, I might give I might give Crusade the the US version a shot, but I don't know. It's like it was it's a lot uh, I don't know. It, 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 yeah, I don't know. Sega of Europe themselves did the uh did the did the uh, did the script for that? Um, and they did a really good job with it, I think. Okay, I think I already messed that up. Already messed it up. Make sure I did. Oh, 
I'll send you back upstairs. Start you back over from the There we go. I think we got him this time. Yep, yep. Works for me. Let's see if I can I can affect this puzzle outside now. This might be like a multi-stage thing where I have to, um, I have to go somewhere else then come back to the other side to get whatever it is I'm trying to get to over on, over on that other side that's, uh, that, that's by the light, um, uh, well, I'll show you. Alright, see, there's this pathway of these buttons. And... There's a helmet over there. At least, just, at least, there's at least a helmet. There might be something else in the... In the, uh... In sort of the nook of this... Shelf. Sort of the indent. Um, but I can't tell right now. So, but yeah, getting to that is kind of the, the, the puzzle here. So, you know, largely this might be kind of an elective thing, but now I've just been, I've just been working on it so long, I'm kind of a little bit obsessed with it, <laughs> just figuring it out. All right. Every time... Turn around. I think that's the 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 uh, ice elemental, and I'm just like, Ooh. Let's See here, we'll just get out of this then. Get out of this. I had a I had a heck of a time fighting an ice elemental earlier on. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to come back to that puzzle, I think. I kind of... I accidentally... I think I think I just... Uh, just just from not opening up that outside door, I think I saw... I think I soft-locked myself out. Hmm. So yeah, this is going to be something to hmm, come back to. Let me uh, take all our ro our, our uh, rocks here. Why aren't you taking this? Come on now. All right. 
That's about the best we can do right now. Skyway. Yeah, okay. Zombies aren't back. Which, that would have been a fun time to blow them up again. This <laughs> is... Yeah, you know, I always forget that there's not really a, a like a turnaround button in uh, in the first Grimrock, and so I get into this habit of like trying to mash, but I can't even. It's not even numpad support because it's or there's not even like it's not, this isn't even mapped to the numpad by default. Um, I'm on I'm on. Uh, I'm on uh, QWEASD, so. But I keep absentmindedly mashing Z, hoping to kind of flip around the other uh, the other direction. That's okay. Yeah. I think I think I. I like that. I like it personally a lot more than I like the numpad, just because I'm left-handed. Um, I think if I had a left-handed keyboard with the number pad on the other side, I'd probably be say I'd probably be a, more of an advocate for the number pad. But it's just too awkward for me to use it like that, unless I absolutely have to. Ooh. I didn't see this box of bullets there. By the way, let's get ourselves in order. Yeah, I'm not using firearms right now, but I'll take another box of bullets. I'm not gonna say no to it. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, well, I don't really have the real estate for anything like that, so... You know, you know, I just make what I can. The only times where it's really awkward is where it's, like, forced number pad, like, um... Like, uh, like, um... Like the Ravenloft games. That was a really awkward control scheme for me. Liked them in spite of it, but... Same time, it was just... Okay. Also, this... This here... Yeah. Yeah, see, that's Dungeon Master I learned on the um, on the Super NES. So, yeah, yeah, that's uh, and I kind uh, of didn't really put much effort into it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to try, uh... What else was... Yeah, but I want to. I, I do want to give Dungeon Master another chance, but just because I, I think it was uh, not not really, not really. They also, I will say this, I believe Dungeon Master is one of the one of the uh, SNES games with mouse support. One of the rare SNES games with mouse support. 
which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Where? I'm kind of, I'm kind of taking little teases out of the, uh, into the water. But I can't really, can't really put, put a lot into, uh, that. All right, so there is a rifle coming up. I found this on this, uh, on sort of a, an attempted, um, you know, disaster run across the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rifle over here, right? I pick this up. And I will. I see. All right. Now I can control things a little bit better. Not be surrounded. Ah. of energy come on you can do better than that there you go. yes we just have to survive really I don't think we will. These are just ghouls. Hmm. There we go. Is that it? That's it. What is this? Firearms three. Ah, it's a it's a good rifle. A good rifle. We'll uh we'll make use of it later. I'm gonna give it to um I'm gonna give this to my barbarian to hold on to and hope that he doesn't try to eat it. hidden buttons around here since I didn't really get a chance to look before nope yeah I I don't know like I said I sort of bailed on on even even playing it even getting some understanding of it I kind of bailed on Dungeon Master a lot faster than I did 
Because I played it after I played uh, Eye of the Beholder on um, on DOS, and um, and so it was like, well, I don't know. I don't know. This is less. Uh, yeah. Some things are just really just way less comprehensible, though. And, uh... I mean, that's just... Part of that is just being older. I mean, it's, you know... Like a very game from 1990... Or 1987 to... 1990. So, you know... Yeah, I wish I could get into it, but... I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to get another shot, though. I have to give it another shot. I will down the line, I'm sure. Protection four. Yeah. Light armor proficiency, though. Wait, does the does the uh, um, protection for? All right, that's a different leather cap. Another different leather cap. That's a reed helmet. Yeah, yeah, that's it's true. It's true. It, it's like it's it, you get more sort of you get more sort of feedback from. Uh, it feels like you get more feed, more like tangible feedback from the way that I, the Beholder system, you know, rolls out. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. All right. I need to. I need to uh, do this just to get to this uh, blood drop. Right. Yeah, and I can respect that, but at the same time, I don't know. It's kind of a, it's kind of a selfishly, it's kind of a what I'm into a game for sort of thing. So, <laughs> yeah, I just got, I just have to approach it on it on on. I just have to approach the game on its own terms, really. And someday I'll do that. Someday I'll, I'll 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 give that a chance. Hmm. Okay. I get the sense that this is not gonna work out so hot. Or maybe it will. Who knows? Really? Hmm. Yeah. It's like... I don't, uh... I'd rather be able to map than not usually. Um, even though, you know, my method of mapping is more, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I, I can I, I kind of see that. Just having the, you know, having a moment to moment situation. It's like this, it's just very easy to sort of, you know, deal with because the game does most of the work for you, right? Um. At least as far as mapping goes. And then you can also, not only that, but you can also, um, you know, you can also kind of, you know, annotate certain aspects of what the game does for you as well. Which is honestly, you know, really cool. 
function of the, of the game. Alright. Ratty is starving. Oh no. Eat some sausage. Eat some lizard. Oh, eat a gun. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. Okay, so I'm gonna need to not soft lock myself. <laughs> Which is what I probably just did. Sokoban. Bad Sokoban. Bad. Maybe. Hello. Use torch. Hey, trash cat, how's it going? Oh, it is very dungeon crawly. <laughs> it is very extremely dungeon crawly. <laughs> I just have to figure out how to get this thing out of the corner here. Is it even possible? Yes, it is. Nice. Um, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I um, there's some, you know, there's some things kind of dealing with with uh with uh oh, golem. If, if this if this thing just just like diffuses and doesn't like of course of course oh jeez you just broke my hand you jerk all right hold on Off. I wanted. I wanted. I wanted the. the I wanted that uh, golem to crumble in front of me instead of just explode. I feel. I want to write an angry letter or something. I don't know.
My feelings are hurt about that, this golem not doing what I want it to. There we go. We got it. We got it. Never mind. It's, it's, it's everything's fine. Everything's good again. We got. We got. Oh wow, that was a that was a break. Eat a lizard. Um. Eat some bread. Eat some sausage. Are you overloaded? Food consumption has increased. Um, wow. You can't carry rocks. Alright. Uh, All right. I think that's about the best we're gonna do there. Oh, yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I, I kind of. Dealing with some things here and there, but uh, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. More golem. More golem. Let's, uh, let's do the whole shoot, shoot some rocks thing. Well, maybe our gun will jam. Give my lead guy a concussion. How dare you? Oh, wow, okay. Okay, so magic is all that really works. Sure, like, you know what would work, actually? Would probably be, like, blunt weapons. You're just gonna have to back up for a minute because we gotta we gotta deal with some stuff. We got some stuff going on. We've got some you know we got some family issues here, y'all. You know I know I know you wanna you know. No, you wanna beat us up. I know you want you wanna act tough. And you know swing your arms around and stuff and punch us. But uh, yeah, this ain't happening. And injury. Can't attack with the hand. Unable to block with the shield. How about we do this? Seriously? What a jerk.
Yeah, I, I like the I like the environment here though. I mean, there's other you know there's been games that have that have done outside grid crawls before, but yeah, this does a really good job of. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, I can throw, like, let me think. I've got some bombs. Hold on. I do have a bomb. But I just... Look at it. It's so pretty. <laughs> Look at it. So pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I got I got it sorted out. Sure, B. Corbis rated the stream with nine viewers. Corbis. Hey, Charby, how's it going? How are you doing? I was I saw you were returning to point and clicks. And what did you do? What'd you do? You had some salmon max. Very good. Very, very good. Alright, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for Hey you Raiders. Hope y'all are doing well too. I'm Rack Clown Car. I do RPGs of all sorts. Two of them should have broken. Uh, should have broken about forty something more of them if you get my drift. Ha 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 ha! Nice, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope y'all are doing well. I'm doing some Legend of Grim Rock. Getting. Oh well, that's you know as good as as good as you know as good as good as presidents could be, I guess, right? <laughs> but uh. <laughs> Oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> on a milk carton somewhere, I guess. I don't know. That's mean. Um. Oh, we're overburdened. What? No! Oh my gosh! That's, don't step on a plate. Don't step on a plate. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't, no, don't. No, what? What did? I, what did I do? What did I just do? This was a bad idea. This was the worst idea, y'all. Do not do this. Never step on plates. Plates will kill you. Danger. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. All right. Let's rest. Oh. What, what, the, what, plates that you can step on that bugs show up in? Oh my gosh. Oh, virals. Oh my gosh, that was just, that was, that was the closest to you'd get to a jump scare on here, I think. I was just like, 
turn around and there's bugs everywhere ready to kill you. Bugs ready to kill you. Okay. All right, these are just teleporters. They just worked in the worst way possible. Golem. Bag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, this guy will break my head and my arms. Fun game. Gotta make sure that there's okay, there's my there's a crystal over there. If I can get there. We're good. We're good. So I'm working on a number of RPGs lately. Some of which are in our dungeon crawly type games. I just started on this game today. Because I finished Megami Tensei 2. Which, that was pretty satisfying. Well, <laughs> Isn't, he's getting more urgent as he... There we go. Obviously a sign that... He was not long for this world. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh gosh. Yeah, the, uh... It was something else, I'll tell ya. Crash Cat, yeah... Yeah, Megami Tensei. Megami the, the the like the original Megami Tensei games on, on the NES are pretty different from what Shin Megami Tensei and Persona became, but they're like their own like just wildness. It's it's really good recipe. Found a new recipe. Anti-venom. Um, blood drop cap and mud wart. Ether weed and falcon sire. Falcon, falcon skier, falcon skier, falcon skier. You know what? We're gonna just gonna hang back and rest just for a little bit. We can just, yep, wake up in morning fog. Everything's good. No, no problems with like, you know, sudden violence. Uh, you know, golden snake statues, golden snake statues. Oh my gosh. Now I'm suddenly worried. Cause I'll walk by and I'll be, <laughs> I'm just so, just so ready for like, <laughs> just so ready for like violence. No matter where I turn. Like, okay, am I gonna have to fight these statues? <sighs> Letter. What's it say on Dear Visitor. Fortunately, the great the gates of the Great Pyramid was locked a long time ago with some strange kind of with a strange kind of key. I'm afraid the key might be unrecoverable by now. You don't say. Well. I 
I know one thing. There's a... A cell set in flower? Crystal flower, okay. The gate to the fifth shrine is hidden from sight. There's a fifth shrine? This is news to me. The the, the heads in the in the in the in the um in the in the first temple I went to said there were only four. False advertising. I want my money back. Alright. Throwing knives. Get, take a dip. We don't drown. Uh, <laughs> being locked to 90 degree angles, yeah. I mean, it's, you know... It's in the same... It's in the, uh, you know, in the tradition of... Uh, in the tradition of, um, you know, Eye of the Beholder or... Um, or Dungeon Master or any number of games, really. I like these. I like these more than... I honestly like these more than like the open-ended things like like Elder Scrolls type games. Alright. What are you, Golgo 13? Oh, tree. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I mean, I like these. I like the, uh, like I said, I enjoy, I enjoy sort of the freedom of range. I've, you know, I understand that. But, I don't know, it's sort of, it's sort of, you know, it kind of gives me a sense of logic, I guess. You know, very predict, you know, something that's very, you know, that's a little bit more manageable for, for, you know, kind of a, 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 wait, actually, hold on a second. Wait. There's a thing down there. I better just climb because that's not, not going to get me anything but killed. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly, Krill. Because these things, these especially have like a whole lot of the, the like multi multimodal puzzles. I was obsessed with tr teleporting a spider around uh, a little while before y'all came in. Uh, it. Uh, and like I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't process that if I was doing this like with a big open camera. Or if I was even doing this in a third person game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the silent one has a friend who is more willing to speak. Head towards the sunrise beyond the gate to find him. Silent one has a friend who's I know who they're talking about, right? Okay. I get over there to that line. Next. Ooh, what is this? All right. Oh, geez. Oh, it's that damaging. A treasure chest long lost, guarded by four fallen spirits in the bog. 
four fallen spirits in the bog. In the bog. Right, this is where I was on the other side where I um gosh, what did I do over here? I forget. In any case. Yeah, we're not we're not messing with this. We do not recognize the ancient shield anymore. Look at this, look at this. Per evasion plus five, health minus 15. Like, what's the point? Seriously, no, what's the point of that? That's just more harm than good, honestly. Like, it's like a no gain, it's like a no gain buff there. Kind of just feeling my way around the underwater because I only have a limited amount of time. This is not working out. This has gone from bad to worse. Get out of the water. All right. This ladder. Okay, so... Okay, I think I know... Uh, I thought I saw a ladder over there. I know there's a ladder over there. Is there a ladder down here? Not over here. That's to one of the, um... That's to one of the shrine. Mm -hmm. Danger, yes. We'll never step on it again, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, this was a... Okay, that's a... That's, um, cloth. So, other things that I'm playing lately, folks. Anybody new to the... To the stream... I'm playing, um, on Wednesdays I'm playing Blue Dragon, Xbox 360, Japanese RPG, uh, by, uh, by Hironobu Sakaguchi, and his new, yes, 100% certified good games, that's right, and, uh, and his new company, Mistwalker, or his then new company, Mistwalker. Also did uh, has art by Akira Toriyama, and uh, yeah, that's uh, you know, it's it's good comfort. It's a good comfort food, cozy RPG, like all the all the good ones are. And did I did I mess up completely again? I think I did. No, I didn't. Here's a. Well, uh, if I don't get up the ladder, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And hello, Aval. How are you doing? Uh, and on Thursdays, I'm doing uh, I'm doing two dungeon crawlers on Thursdays. Um, I'm doing uh, a brand new dungeon crawler called Demon Lord Reincarnation. Uh. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Very good. Food's good. Food's good. I, I, uh, 
I'm done with eating for the day, but, uh, yeah. Food is always good, though. Shoot. Rock! Uh, yeah, Demon Lord Reincarnation, which is a expanded version of a game jam game by, uh, Rave Robber Foundation, who also did um, the cyberpunk robot horror um, dungeon crawler uh, The Skyster Ship that I played recently as well. That game is fabulous. That game is intense and unhinged and just so good. So great. And it's just. It's an extremely hardcore game. <laughs> it's good. But also, I'm playing a game that influenced that game. Uh, well, well, first of all, more about uh, Demon Lord Reincarnation. It's it's kind of got elements of um of a number of things of of saga games, of roguelikes, of a very specific time in wizardry's history. But it's not a wizardry-like game at all. Well, it is kind of in, in in form but not function. Is a more accurate way to say it. Um Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, very it's conducive to a lot to a, like a lot of like kind of uh you know logic based situations more or less but yeah, it's it's an it's weird to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right, right. Well, the other game that I'm playing on Thursdays, though, I should mention, also influences uh, influenced a few of uh, a few uh, of Grave uh, Robbers games, but it is. Uh, also, kind of unique on its own. It's a, uh, it is a 1985 dungeon crawler action RPG called The Screamer. That's, uh, also, you know, kind of early cyberpunk in video games kind of thing. And, uh, it was, um, it was made for the PC-88, PC-98, Sharp X1. Uh, only released in Japanese, but it has an English translation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, it's very... It's kind of a... It's almost like a board game type... type uh, you know, it's almost looking at something like a board game. Let me think. What's... What's on the map that I can get to? I mean, I could go to the east go to the east <sighs> I don't know I'm whole the big puzzle of this is getting to this area in the center This is kind of leading me back to a dungeon that I've already been to. Where I was... <clears throat> right. Where I was kind of obsessed with the spider puzzle. And it kind of almost threatened to eat my brain. Um, the puzzle, not the spider. Although I'm sure the spider wouldn't mind eating my brain either. If they could get to me. But, yeah... Um, I think. 
<sighs> oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna be wrapping up shortly though. Um Yeah, I usually do I'm I'm doing uh I was doing overnight streams for about a year before this, or about nine months before this. Uh the past month. But then I sort of changed my routine partially because of health necessities. Um but also just to sort of manage my time a little better. Um, yeah. Yeah, but then it, it, yeah, but doing the, doing it top down kind of turns it into a different sort of game altogether, doesn't it? I mean, that's, um, I was talking about how these developers, well, uh, the bulk of these developers went on to do uh, Druid Stone, which is more of a top-down tactical game versus the first-person dungeon crawler. And, uh, it's a very good game, too, but, um, it's a different sort of feeling, uh, mechanically. So, I don't know if... I don't know if everybody that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it kind of helps me kind of maintain, you know... Maintain my, you know, kind of stability in the stream, too. Like, I'm not... You know, with the two shorter streams, I'm not, like, nodding off halfway through. And trying to push myself to to get to to a certain point, just to turn in however many hours. It's like you know, like I said, it's healthier for me in general. So it's like I kind of had to do that, or else I would just be like, you know, totally wiping out. Could not take it. Could not take that anymore. Unfortunately, as much as I like those marathon streams, I. I don't have the energy that somebody like Rig does. <laughs> That's the reality of it. Yeah. Wish I did, but... That's, uh... That's just not feasible long-term, unfortunately. I mean, on a rare occasion, I could probably pull off a... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen some folks just... I mean, you look at those Gigaboot streams where they go 30 hours playing a game, but then again, they kind of they kind of do it in tandem, right? Um, but no, I mean, I've seen some people do some wild stuff with with how you know with their streams, and it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, they're they only stream like once a week or twice a week. But when they do stream, it's just marathon level. Um, but yeah, I just... Like, I, I wasn't... I wasn't consciously trying to... Yeah, 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 exactly. How, how he holds it together. Um, yeah, I mean, like, like, I wasn't even consciously ever trying to really, you know. Do anything on that wavelength, even if I was accidentally doing it on some streams, like my, um, when I finished, uh, when I finished, um, what was it? When I finished, uh, Chained Echoes, right? Or uh, when I when I did that 14 hour uh, uh, wanders from East stream where I just where I just uh, crashed and burned on the ending multiple times until I had to just say no I had to I have to wrap it up yeah no I mean I, I love playing video games and you know but I'm you know <laughs> spirits willing flesh is weak I guess right. Um, 
but um, yeah. <laughs> and in my case, it's weaker some days more than others. Um, let me do a sprint across the pond here. There we go. I'm just trying to fill in some map gaps here. But yeah, let me see here. No, I can't do anything about that. Wait, what? Come on, y'all. Climb up the ladder. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. I don't know. I mean, I... I you, you put... You put me in front of a, a of a DOS computer with Sorcerian on it. I, yeah, you know, I'll be, I'll be, you know, you have to pull me away. Anyway, right, right. I don't know. I'll be doing some DOS games in December. So. All right. Um Would that be right? I don't know. Anyway, I think that's about it. Oh my gosh, y'all. <sighs> Thank y'all for being here. I know I had internet troubles earlier. And, you know, technical difficulties and such and such, but, uh... Yeah. Nonetheless, I'm just glad glad for all the people that came by and stopped by. 